Hello, this is Dr. Ned Hallowell coming to you from my dining room in Arlington, Massachusetts on a Sunday afternoon where it is cold and gray and rainy outside. But it is warm inside and I'm glad to be with you. I hope wherever you are, it is sunny outside as well. Today I would, I would like to talk to you once again uh, about stigma, only this time I want to zero in on a special kind of stigma. And it is the stigma that has developed against stimulant medication. Now, as most of you know who follow me at all, I am not a big pusher of medication in general. I'm a big pusher of connection, the human connection, what I call the other vitamin C. I think we really need to be connecting one with, or one with another. I think that's the, the great need in our society today is to be connecting with each other and uh, using community and positive human contact as the, the major force for longevity, for goodwill, for feeling good, for uh, you know pretty much everything positive in life, for health, for happiness, for joy, for having fun. Uh, but, but there is one condition, namely attention deficit disorder, uh, for which there is a wonderful medication, namely stimulant medication, methylphenidate or amphetamine, which when used properly uh, works really well. Uh, for various reasons, there's been a tremendous backlash against the use of these medications. Alan Schwartz wrote his book, ADHD Nation, in which he documented the ways in which these meds can be abused, and indeed they can be abused. In fact, I helped Alan with his book, gave him, you know, opened myself up to him. And uh, in the book, he took me to task a bit, which I kind of resented, but <laughs> I opened myself up nonetheless. And, um, uh, you know, at one point I said, Alan, why don't you tell the positive stories? And uh, he said, well, that's not really news. So I suppose it's not news, but it's important. The positive stories are important. Uh, the, the bad stories are important too, and he wrote a whole book about them, and, and it's certainly true. Uh, these medications, if you don't use them properly, they can be very dangerous, sometimes even lethal. But that's one side of the story. The other side of the story that never seems to get told is that these medications can be extremely helpful when they're used properly. Now, please hear me. You have to use them properly, responsibly, under medical supervision. They are controlled substances. You must take them carefully under medical supervision. But when you do, they can be like eyeglasses. They can be safe and effective. And it, it just, it's such a shame to see people out of fear and ignorance, not give these medications a try. Because, you know, that's all you need to do is give them a try. They're in and out of your system the same day. If they cause side effects, you simply stop them. You know, people ask me, do you, do you believe in Ritalin? My answer is it's not a religious principle. You know, I believe in, you know, helping people. And if, if Ritalin, say, helps, and it causes no side effects, then by all means, take it. If it doesn't help, or if it causes side effects, then by no means, you know, don't take it. And that's, that's the point, you know. Use common sense, get good medical care. Don't demonize these medications, nor should you glorify them. They are, they are tools used properly. They're very effective and very safe. Used improperly, they're dangerous. Um, and that's the message, if we can hold that middle ground. You know, I call myself a, a radical moderate. If we can only hold that middle ground, then people will be helped and they won't be harmed. It's when fear and uh, polemicists enter the picture, when people start haranguing and attacking and demonizing the meds, demonizing people, uh, start calling people drug pushers and in the pockets of drug companies and all this kind of stuff that it's just wrong and it, and it, it hurts people and 
sends wrong messages. Um, you know, I'm in the business, like most doctors, of trying to help people. And one tool we have, one of many tools we have to help people who have attention deficit disorder is, is stimulant medication. It can be helpful about 80% of the time. 20% of the time it doesn't work or it causes side effects and, and should not be used. 80% is a pretty good batting average. It's not 100%, but it's pretty darn good. My message is don't be afraid of them, but be respectful of them. Go to a doctor who knows what he or she is doing. Go to a doctor who will follow you carefully, make a careful diagnosis, a complete diagnosis, and then give you regular follow-up. And if you do that, and if you're lucky enough that the meds are helpful, they're a very useful tool that can make a big difference. Don't demonize the meds, don't glorify the meds, Find a doctor who knows what he or she is doing and consider them a possible tool in the treatment of this condition. This is Dr. Ned Hallowell, wishing you a wonderful day.